I feel like in recent weeks, kind of my groove has been doing individual bot modes and then a combined mode. I'm going to kind of stick with that today because we're going to look at the last of our Black Mamba oversized Dinobots when we look at the leader of the team, that being Grimlock in the latest GotBot True review. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm your host, your humble host, Dennis Moulton, a.k.a. Gapot. As always, please like, comment, share, of course, subscribe, check out Machinery of Man, the Everything Factor, Transformers, Collectors, NL, and the Autobot family. Have a look for me everywhere across social media, man. And oh, while you're at it, please, please, please don't forget to... That's right, man. Hit that notification bell, baby, because it lets you know when content of all sorts goes up here on the channel. Everything from stop motions to countdowns to reviews like these. And this is Grimlock and Grimlock. Now, I said a moment ago that I feel like my jam lately has been kind of looking at individual bots and then combined mode. If you missed it, kind of go back. It wasn't that long ago. We went through all of my custom members for Lyo Kaiser and then the combined mode for Lyo Kaiser. We even looked at a combined mode of... Uh, Death Source. And then we even looked at Sad Nexus Prime. That thing was hilarious. It's so bad. So bad. But now, now we finally get to have a look at these Dinobots. Now I know we've looked at the Power of the Primes ones before. Uh, but the Black Mamba oversized ones, so far they've been impressive. Will Grimlock be as impressive? Well, we're about to find out because we're going to head over to the table and take a closer look at these guys. And as we've been looking at the Black Mamba oversized KO set of the Power of the Primes Dinobots, it's only fitting that we sort of round out the individual bots with none other than the leader of the group, Grimlock. Now, a couple of things that I want to mention before we dive into this. One, we're going to look at the entire team in their dino modes together when we look at their combined mode. We're going to look at the entire team in their robot modes together just before we go into the combined mode. We're not doing the combined mode this time. We'll, we'll do that next time. This is going to specifically be for Grimlock. And as we kind of start off here, we have both torso modes. Naturally, the smaller one is the Voyager class Power of the Primes Grimlock. The other one is the KO that is oversized. And a couple of minor differences worth noting right here. The Autobot symbol on the head of the official Grimlock as well. If we look at his pelvis piece, the very center is gold. When we look at the KO, we don't have the Autobot symbol on the head. No shock there. As well, there is no gold center to that waist piece. And that waist piece on the KO is not plastic, it is a die cast piece. The head, exactly the same. I left the eyes red for the combined mode of Volcanicus. I can say this. We are missing, we'll see this in Dino Mode, we are missing some detail here that is uh, like sticker detail. But I think that it's okay. I think it works just fine. We'll see it more in other modes later on. But that's basically it in this mode. Now I'll say this. When I looked at the official Grimlock, I said that this torso was hot trash. I didn't like it. It locked in in a bunch of places, but guess what? It doesn't really stay locked in at all. For example, these wing pieces here, while they do lock in position, they don't like to stay locked and this whole shoulder assembly tends to move all around. Not secure, not a great torso, I'm not a fan of it, plus it looks really lanky and odd. Odd, real odd. When we look at the oversized KO, these wing pieces do come down and they lock in super duper securely. Now, on, and I'll show it here with the official, maybe I'll show it with the official, yeah I'll show it with the official. Here we have the shoulder and then the arm kind of uh, or the elbow bends twice and then the forearm tabs it to the back of the shoulder. However, on the KO, at least on my copy of it, I don't even know if this guy'll stay stood up now, let's hope. Yeah! On my copy of it, the arms, like, they won't tab in. And you might say, oh, that's too bad. Not really, because honestly, you don't really notice that the joints are so kind of solid and secure on it anyway that even in combined mode, 
the KO is still an infinitely better torso than the official Power of the Primes version. Some people have said, hey, now he'll be able to match up with the Combiner Wars Devastator. Well, we'll see about that when we do do the Combine mode. But nevertheless, right now, it's pretty obvious that we can say that the KO torso is definitely bigger. Now we're going to go into his Dino mode next. But before we go there, just a couple of notes that I think I want to mention now and get him out of the way. As with all the others, we get the same blaster, the same sword, generic sword. It's really Sludge's blaster, so it's not real accurate, but they all kind of come with this. And an instruction sheet that shows his conversion from robot to dino and back. Um, the, the, you'll notice that there's a stats, ability points, whatever you want to call it, down bottom. That's the exact same across all five Dinobots, including Grimlock. But here's what is interesting. The other four Dinobots instruction sheets have product images here just like this, but they have the picture, they have pictures of the official Power of the Primes Dinobots on it. You can tell because of the little details like the translucent plastic and whatnot. However, this time around, we actually have the KO Grimlock. I know this because we have a solid gold chest instead of a translucent chest. We don't have the sticker detailing on the lower legs and he is mistransformed because the waist of Volcanicus is now serving as the waist of Grimlock and it's the complete silver piece without the gold in the center. Very strange that they would choose to use kind of the, he's also holding the KO blaster. Very strange that they would choose to use this version but kind of like official stock images for the other versions, kind of strange. And yeah, they, wait, wait, that's not the right Grimlock. No, no, this is the KBB Tyrone Cable King, who I looked at in episode 660, but I want to do an update on him before we dive into the Black Mama KO here. KO's everywhere today for Grimlock. Uh, one thing that I mentioned in the Cable King review, and if you haven't checked it out, check that out, because it was both a build video, because this is a model kit, and the review, but I said that the outward movement of the shoulders was highly, highly limited and that that was unfortunate because the rest of everything here is pretty fantastic articulation. And it was pointed out to me that I actually had um, the shoulders left in an incorrect orientation. Right now, the shoulders are left in the mode that they should be for a dyno. However, you're supposed to untab them and rotate them up and then tab them back in so the shoulder should actually be higher on the body and then it does as where it has like no range here then it does get a little bit of a range of motion I would say the range of motion going out here is very similar to that of uh, the classic side swipe red alert sunstreaker it's there but it's limited. It could be better. Just to show this better, I'm just going to pop this arm off. And the way I had this black hinge here left was down and tabbed in. However, you should slightly pull it out and untab it, rotate it up, and then tab it back in. And now this kind of vertical orientation is the way it should be for robot mode. I want to thank Batman1 for pointing that out to me. Just goes to show that when we're all part of a community, we can all learn from each other. Now, to be fair, I looked at the original Power of the Primes Grimlock back in episode 345, and I liked him. I even compared him to the FOC Grimlock, my custom FOC Grimlock at the time. And really, you want something really weird? I actually looked at the FOC Grimlock in comparison to the Age of Extinction Grimlock, both Voyagers, way back eons and eons ago in episode 65. Long, long time ago. Long time ago, man. Like th three years ago, maybe? Oh, good times, good times. So what about here, the conversion? Um, first thing to note, when I got this guy the package, his Knee joints were slathered in that grease that's often used on plastics. Um, it, it's fine. You can just wipe it off. But just so you know, if you order this, it's going to be slathered in that, most likely. So we begin pretty easy. We bring down the uh, legs and we will rotate them and rotate them. This will not be his waist. This will be the back of the legs, and we can turn the guy around. We can pick off 
that chest piece and that chest. Actually, we're doing dyno mode, aren't we? So I guess we'll bring those down and actually put them together at this point. Yeah, that seems like a good thing to do. And then we'll angle them back and bring down the tail. There, there, now the whole bottom is done. Okay, huh. I wasn't, wasn't paying enough attention. Um, next thing, now that we have those off, is to bring out these arms here to the side. And we can even bring these down like this. Rotate and rotate. Because, I mean, they'll, right? He'll be able to start standing up. But, of course, naturally, we're not done yet. Next is going to be untabbing the body. Now, the body of the KO here actually tabs in super duper tight. Like, super duper tight. So, I'm going to try and get that off and then we'll sort of continue from there because it's actually hard to get it off unlike it is with the regular Grimlock. It's really tight. At least on my copy it is. Now that we've got that done, we can come here and rotate this around. Bring that down. We split the body. And just like with the Power of the Primes one, we angle down the chest pieces and bring them in, in over the body. Same thing, in over the body. The chest will once again tab together. Once I got everything lined up there, we bring this down and straighten it up and I think we leave it this way. I think we leave it that way. Same here, we do that. Then we can start to bring those sections around. You'll notice the Volcanicus head is out. We can bring that back, bring the Volcanicus head back, that down, that down. Bring the Grimlock head forward. We can tab together those sections. Line all that up, fix up our little arms here, and honestly, technically, boom, in the end, here we have Grimlock in his dino mode. And here we have the official, next to the KO, obviously the KO is bigger, full disclaimer, when I've done the conversion of the KO, there is uh, a hinge in the body that's supposed to accordion down before you close the chest pieces around his lower body. I didn't have it accordioned all the way down, so if his tail looked like it was out a little further than it should be, that was my fault because I hadn't collapsed the hinge of the torso properly. I'll sort of show that and what I didn't collapse when we go to robot mode. <laughs> Nevertheless, here the two are. I like both of them. Uh, I was always fond with the Voyager one, but I do think that the new one looks more imposing, uh, is a little more grimlocky now. You will notice a few different details here as well. For example, I have the eyes colored in on both of these. We have a clear translucent gold on the neck. We have a solid gold on the KO. We have uh, like sticker detailing uh, on the official as where we don't on the KO. And in fact, I have added my own Autobot symbol right there on the front, just as it should be, instead of up on the head like this guy has. Very similar. They are extremely similar. Um, I like both. What can I say? Fine dino mode. And that's how they look next to each other. Seems smart to me. What about that robot mode? Well, we should be pretty familiar with that by now. The robot mode means that we take Grimlock here, close up his mouth, we flip this back, we should be able to, I can do it, there we go, get in there and open that up. We should be able to split that and bring it up and split that and bring it up. Now, the hinge I was talking about was this gray hinge here. I did not have this fully collapsed before I closed the body around the lower body, so that was my fault. We bring the chest up, we bring the chest up, and it comes together up here. We straighten up the legs, we fold the tail up on the back, we split the legs, we straighten out the arms, we flip out a hand, we straighten out the other arm and flip out a hand. And we're gonna, yeah. And we're just gonna pack things up ever so slightly so that he's not so like at the edges of the frame. And I think that might just be centered up a little bit better. And for the record, here he is next to the Power of the Primes Grimlock, the official one. Just gonna move the, these guys over a little bit. 
Uh, what can I talk about here? Both of them have had custom blue eyes done on their visor. This guy over here has the clear translucent plastic that's painted gold on the inside. The other Grimlock has a solid gold. I affixed an Autobot symbol and cut it in half with a crafting knife on the KO. Did not need to do that on the official. As we move down to the pelvis, the waist and pelvis of the official is red. The waist of the KO was red. The lower pelvis section was all black. I painted it red. The thighs are still red. The knees are red. Going down then on the lower legs. The KO, I've added blue, red, and green detailing to match his animation model. While we have similar blue, red, and green detailing on the Power of the Promise, but this time it like matches up the sticker detailing rather than just the solid colors as per the animation. They both look good, but the size is definitely nicer on the oversized KO. Uh, the joints are a bit tighter on it. I, I, I like both of these, like I really do. But when it comes to size, I mean, here's what we had. Good old Grimlock fitting the family picture just perfect. Um, he's about the same size as Optimus, but some people have complained and said, hey, he's supposed to be bigger than Optimus. Enter the KO! Now, this guy is a bit taller and a bit burlier than Optimus. He's not exactly the size of, say, Titan's Return, Overlord, or uh, Six Shot, or something like that. So he's not quite a leader in his height. But he definitely has a lot of mass. He's definitely bigger than a Voyager. But he's not exactly a leader. If we were going to call him anything, we would call him leader. But he's not actually quite there. And just for giggles, there he is with the little KVB Tyranno Cable King. So what about grades for the lad? Well, we have paint apps now that are largely accurate. I'm going to call him a solid... I'm going to call him a solid nine. The... Uh... Transformation is actually really simple across the board. I think that's a 10. I think it's great. It's clever. It's familiar. But, you know, I, I think it works. A lot of people complain about the thick tail. I get it. I understand why you would complain about that. But it doesn't really bother me. Uh, to each their own, you know? To each their own. Uh, right now, though, I would say that this guy overall is about a 9. Maybe a 9.25. Like, it's a pretty good Grimlock. In terms of the articulation, well, the head can go left and right. It can look up and down. The arms, nice ratchet on that shoulder. Can they go all the way around? Yeah, they can go all the way around. Uh, out to the side. We have a double elbow, which is nice. We have a bicep. Well, we have a, like, a bicep swivel. We have a lot of movement at that shoulder. We have a waist, which I love. Nothing at the wrist, for the record. We have ratcheted out to the side. Listen to that. There's, there's your ASMR right there, you know? And that. Beautiful, beautiful sound. Just like butter. Uh, thigh swivel. Ratcheted knee, ratchets everywhere on the dude. Uh, he doesn't have an ankle tilt, which I guess is a shame, but I, like, I, he doesn't need it really. He stands so solid, so nice, so good. I love the guy. Honestly, you could score a lot of fun poses with him and whatnot. I'm, I said it was a 9.25. I'm going to say that his articulation is 8.75. Overall, Grimlock is a solid 9. He's a great Grimlock. The fact that he's now kind of oversized and probably more correct in scale with a lot of people's kind of classic Chug Generations collection, I think is just the icing on the cake. And here we are once again, and you know what? The Voyager Power of the Primes Grimlock gets a lot of flack, man. He gets a lot of flack for being too small, even though he's quite bulky. And I was fine with this guy. Honestly, I'm still fine with this guy. Uh, I, I, I like the size, I like the sticker detailing being reminiscent of his original plastic iteration, but there's something charming about not only the fact that the Black Mamba version is bigger, but I kind of like the simplicity of it, because it allowed me to do something like put this Autobot symbol on the chest, which is pretty accurate. I don't know, I like it, I like it. Um, both of these are good in my opinion. The... 
I guess the only weakness with the official for me is that in dino mode sometimes the chest doesn't like to stay tabbed together the most securely. Sometimes it does, it's weird. And I guess you could complain about the size if you have a problem with them being Voyager. Uh, the KO is fantastic and I honestly I think I like the solid gold colored chest rather than the translucent. I like the size. A lot of people have called it a leader. It's not quite a leader. It's not quite that big, but it's definitely bigger than Voyager and scales nicely. He definitely feels bulky and hefty. Uh, but when we go to the Volcanicus mode, the one thing that is a little unfortunate is that on my copy, the this tab, is it this tab? I think it's this tab think it's this tab, back here, does not like to tab in. Now, luckily, all the hinges are still quite tight, so as we'll see next time, he actually kind of changes my opinion of Volcanicus, and I'll explain what I mean then. As a Grimlock, it's great. It's a good size. It looks the part. I, even his big, chunky tail, oversized, for some weird reason, doesn't seem as big and chunky to me. I don't know why, but it just, I don't know, it, it, it feels like it flows better to me, I, and I can't tell you why. So, I, nice dyno, great robot, excellent hinges, excellent tolerances across the board. These two chest holes, when you put them uh, down for combined mode, are quite tight on this guy, but I'd rather they be too tight than too loose. I think it's a solid win of a Grimlock. I thought this was a solid win of a Grimlock, but I like this one just a little bit more. Anyway, let me know what you think about the Black Mamba Grimlock. Let me know which Grimlock is your favorite iteration of Grimlock. By the way, we also done that update for the Tyrone Cable King. Great little Legends-ish Grimlock. Uh, fantastic. I really, again, want to say thank you to Batfan1 for pointing out that those shoulders rotate up. Very appreciated. Just goes to show, man, that we can all learn from each other in this community. Anyway, let me know what you think about this guy. Which Grimlock is your favorite? You know I'd love to hear from you guys. Again, if you're in a position to help the channel grow, please use the donate link down in the description. Hit the subscribe button. Stick around. Have some fun with us. Don't forget somehow, some way, each and every day, you do make a difference. And I look forward to the next time that you and I get together to have another visit either in the live streams on Thursday nights at the Stop Motion premieres. More of them coming as we continue Universal Collision. And as always, the old-fashioned way, man, right here inside the videos.